a very good first half. What what changed in the second half? Uh, probably we annoyed almost too much uh, by leading to nil. Um, no, we discussed in the halftime. I was very pleased with the effort, with the performance level, not only because of the lead, but as well because we created chances enough to deserve the lead, I would say. Um, and we discussed in the halftime. It was very important to not just stay deep, uh, drop, and then wait wait for the minutes to go, but to score the third goal, because that would have been, in my opinion, what we need. Um, we discussed about the importance of the first 15 minutes of the second half because obviously we knew that they were made, making two substitutions. We expect them to come with, with aggressivity to try to chase one, one early goal. And yeah, unfortunately, in the corner, we missed the concentration that is needed. And then we consider a goal that is a game changer because suddenly the game, of course, Barnum then gets into the game with only one goal down. And then, yeah, what it came later obviously was not a good second half. We can praise therefore the guys in the sense that until the last minute of the game we were trying to to, to push and to compete for the game, um, showing the respect that this competition deserves, which in my opinion did from the beginning. But unfortunately, yeah, all the praise that that the team deserved in the first half, I think that we miss some important keys in the second one. Well, obviously, you're aware you've discussed it the set piece issue. And you're working on it. Our teams now. Coming to play you aware of this as well? Well, you don't need to be a genius, you just need to look at the stats. And since I've been here, 15 goals considered and 10 of them are on set pieces. So my life will be much easier without the set pieces in QPR, but unfortunately, a part of the game. And I think that, um, yeah, five goals considered in open game in this amount of matches is a fantastic start that shows the team has a good organization, that the team is working well, that, that we have a good balance between in the way we want to attack and the way we want to defend. But unfortunately, set pieces has been an issue for a while and we are not we are not getting better. So it's always this balance in football that you want to improve things, but the more you focus on it, then it can become a little bit of, of an issue mentally as well. So we need to find a good balance between the time we spend. But as you could see today, for instance, uh, we dropped. Usually we were keeping one guy at the top when the corner kicks. And just basically, basically the reason is to keep two defenders of the position, so less players attacking the box. Today we dropped Sinclair, but usually we use his pace staying at the top in the corners to make sure that he was taking care of the second ball. And unfortunately, he's the player that missed the, the men. So he knew that his task was this one. He's a young player who did a fantastic first half, but that shows a little bit how football is, right? That fantastic first half, and then suddenly a mistake that is a game changer. And in a way, if you take that first half performance, to be out, of the competition, which obviously you didn't want, but in a way, is it a good thing that you can now concentrate on the real job in hand in the championship? It's one way to look at it. I came here to win football games, so I will never be pleased by losing a game, and especially in a competition like this one. But I totally understand the question because obviously you have a huge task in front of us. The reality is that we're in relegation zone in the in the championship that we have ahead of us an extremely important January with three massive games here at home. And the main focus is to recover the players that we got out with injuries and that we need to make sure that what happened perhaps in the next three games will be massive for the future of the club. So we need to be aware about where is the priority. Said that, I here to I came here to win football games, so I would never be pleased, especially in a day like today, right? That we felt that we was very close against a very good side. I want to give all the all the credit to Bournemouth and, and his coach and the players because they did a fantastic second half. And that shows the level that there is in the Premier League and, and they have in the squad. Thank you. Martin, what's the city's biggest challenge in the Cardiff? And is it going to be helped this month? I hope I could make uh, that simple analysis. I see, you, I see your point, but I guess that is a combination of factors. Uh, the fact that we are receiving goals, considering goals in set pieces, is more than just the keeper. I think that Asmir is a very experienced keeper, he knows how to handle. We could discuss if Milo was a free kick or not. We could discuss if perhaps because the team is not performing well, he's that kind of leader that he wants to take extra responsibility, so he's assuming more risk perhaps than what he should. I think it's a combination of things. Um, I mentioned Sinclair just an example about, about lack of concentration sometimes despite he did a very good game, but I don't like to point individually. This is a, a team task 
And the first thing I said to the guys, the first thing is to make sure that we don't concede many corners by having the ball, by attacking more, by creating more situations in the half opposition. Said that when we face a defensive corner, a defensive free kick, first of all, is about the concentration and knowing individually the task. And today, unfortunately, in, in both goals, we we forgot or we didn't execute the individual task at the level that is that is needed. But I don't think it's a keeper issue at all. I think he did really well in the first half. I think he showed his extreme capacities in the physical aspect, his pace, his capacity in the duels. Uh, he had very, very good moments and I'm pleased for him because he's a young player that wants to develop. I think he's taking steps in the weeks I've been here, understanding when to use this pace, how to get from this pace because we were joking with him when I arrived here, he got a lot of offsets and with his pace he doesn't need to, 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 to get in offset positions that often because he can drop two meters and still recover this advantage. So I'm pleased about today against a very aggressive defense that, that that's the way Barnabas wants to defend. We were talking a lot about for our way of playing runs and behind strikes the position is extremely important. Otherwise, we can become a flat team if we don't make this, that kind of runs as it happened against Millwall in the first half and to some extent against Cardiff. The moment that we use this space, and it was a bit of a pity that Sinclair was not ready to play against Cardiff, then we are a different team. Because if the teams want to press high against us, then that, that obviously gives some space to us to attack in behind. If the teams want to wait, then we get a picture where we are much higher on the pitch because I do think that the build-up phase is very stable. Um, so it's a combination of factors, but yeah, definitely today he did well, but the Smith as well, Lyndon had a very good first half. Yeah, and this should be a, should be in some way a learning process for all of us to understand that this team, when we are at our best, when everybody understands what the game is about and, and, and take responsibility, we have a lot of players that can compete at a very good level. And then, of course, we need to learn from the mistakes, from the areas that, that we can improve. And said that, I think that any team in the world, uh, all the teams in championship will struggle if they miss players uh, with the quality of Elias Cher, of Jack Kolbach or Steve Cook, because obviously they are very important players for us. We need to see day by day. Uh, the progress so far has been very positive. But uh, yeah, we need to assess day by day to see what is the development, the progress, and, and see if they're ready. Mark, you keep talking about the game for the Central side, the first half today, Carl, Southampton, maybe struggling a bit more against sides closer to you in the Championship table. Do you have any idea why that is? I have one idea that I share with the guys that I will not share here today. <laughs> um, but said that, of course, as well, there is a power of uh, that's how the game is. Sometimes. Uh, you need to understand the pictures of the game. Sometimes you need to take different roles during the games. Perhaps today, a lot of people expected that would be an easy game for Bournemouth, and we show that it was not easy for them, um, despite they're a very, very good team. So, yeah, there are some reasons about that, but I would say that the important thing is that the team, in my opinion, is getting X performance that show us that, that if we improve the areas that we need to improve, hopefully we can be very strong over 90 minutes. Um, which so far, perhaps few games we have done it like perform at really, really high level over 90 minutes. I know you're not going to tell me, but is it more of a motivational thing or a tactical thing? Uh, well, if it's a motivational thing, we got a problem because we're here to play in front of 20,000 and uh, do what we love. So no, it's not about the motivational thing, but it's more about assuming, assuming that sometimes some teams will play in different way, understand that uh, the matches are different from game to game. And that as well, it's about the braveness. I said many times that the way we want to play, yeah, we're going to face teams that will press high. We're going to face teams that when we receive on a player on the back, you need to be confident enough to trust the next guy to come to support, to play the third man, to play a little bit under pressure. Because all of this, this is the foundation of the way we play. So to have this personality to play under pressure, uh, sometimes is, is easier than, than others. There's a different position for Lindy and Bright today. What would you think of that and how well do you it, it worked really well because Lyndon is a smart player. Um, he understands very well what we ask him to do in the pitch. Uh, the main reason was, as you could see, we knew that Barnmouth is very aggressive on the way they press. So one idea was to drop him a little bit to create 1v1 situations with Sinclair in the channels. And from there, Lyndon as well is very fast to recover the distance after dropping the fullback. Then 
ton of second line runs, plus the fact that he's very competent in the second ball. So we were not delivering perfectly and he could pick the second ball as well and help the team to travel. But we expect that the Barnum will be very, very aggressive on the high pressure and then having players like Lyndon, like Sinks, that are fast and at the same time they are good targets, uh, could help us to get away of the pressure. Okay. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.